Hi, it's Alex. I originally wanted to talk today about trigger warnings, because there's been some controversy over the topic recently. But when I started trying to record a video about that topic, I realized that there's so much to say, and I wasn't quite sure how to collect it into one video. And I realized I wanted to talk instead about angry rants. And basically, I was thinking like, I'm a little skeptical of the way trigger warnings are often used. I think sometimes they can lead to this perpetuation of this idea that it's good to always avoid things that cause anxiety, but I also see some value in them. But when I think about what I want personally, the sort of traditional trigger warnings that I see, they're not things that I think would protect me from what I most feel most vulnerable to. I think the thing that I feel most vulnerable to are rants, especially when people go on angry rants. But it's a very specific type of vulnerability. Like, I don't feel so much vulnerable to if someone is ranting about me or ranting about a group of which I'm a part of. Like, I almost feel pretty good at staying calm in those situations. I feel most vulnerable to rants when someone is ranting about something that I too feel angry about, or ranting in a way that I find it easy to empathize with them. And I think the biggest danger for me is when someone moves from a more objective way of talking into an angry rant in a gradual way such that I'm not consciously of aware of when the ranting started. I've had professors do this, I've had friends do this, and I've had clients that I've had business relationships with do this. And it can be really troubling, it's just like, I'm talking to the person, or I'm listening to someone like in a lecture, and the person's talking about something scholarly, and it's pretty objective, and they might start dropping like one or two comments, and next thing you know, like, they're all out ranting, and I'm like, whoa, where did this come from? Where, where did that start? And I become consciously aware of it only after it has been going on for some time. I find that a little troubling because often I'll feel like I'm on the same page with them and I'm like letting these ideas sink into my head. Why do I think this is damaging to me? Uh, it's because I struggle with anger myself. And I have ways of dealing with it that are healthy, but those ways take effort. So for example, like, if I'm feeling really angry, just in general or about a specific thing, and I recognize that, I can take time to go be by myself, do things that are kind of like self-care, that help me calm down, write in my journal to help process the ideas, and I can talk to people about it too. There are a lot of different tools I have at my disposal, but they all take time and effort. And when someone is ranting, in this way that sort of sneaks up on me. Especially if it's something that I too feel angry about. There are these untruthful ideas that I think fuel anger. I think a lot of these ideas take the form of demonizing other people, and viewing other people as having negative intentions. So for example, I care a lot about the environment, I'm really passionate about sustainability, and one thing that I struggle with is feeling anger and hostility towards people that I see making decisions that are harming the environment. So like a sort of superficial example of this are people who own and drive really expensive fuel guzzling cars. So things like a Hummer. It's different from like an old broken down truck where it's like, okay, I understand this might be a gas guzzler, but like, the person probably doesn't have very much money. Like, when someone has this car that is like this luxury good, and it's really fuel efficient, that's when I struggle with having these really negative thoughts about those people. And I might struggle with thoughts like, what the hell are these people's problems? Like, they don't give a shit about the environment, and if it gets worse, I might start going into thinking like, they're scum, and stuff like that. Like, this dehumanizing language. And like, from there, when you start dehumanizing someone, it becomes much easier to start picturing violence towards them. I find this cycle pretty scary. Like, it's a road that I don't want to go down. One thing that's frustrating for me, though, is that in our society, those early stages of that cycle that eventually leads to violence, 
the early stages of that cycle are often pretty commonly voiced and pretty socially acceptable to be voiced. So for example, like as I go through my day, I see on Facebook, I might hear in uh, everyday conversations, I might hear people using negative labels to refer to other people. So they might be referring to them as stupid, or as immature, or as entitled, or like there's a whole different series of negative labels. And to me, like I see those things as the start of this road that can lead to these uh, unhealthy levels of anger and in some cases can manifest in violence. Like, I don't think I have much of a tendency to actually manifest that violence myself, but like for me the risk is for me to just sit and stew struggling with these angry thoughts, which is pretty traumatizing to me. Like, it, it takes me a lot of effort to process that stuff. And so like when people rant, it, especially if they ease into the rant, I find it threatening to me, like, because some of those ideas typically sink in, and then, like, I find myself later in the day, or, like, the next day, or next few days, like, feeling really angry and having a lot of angry thoughts. And I wish people would kind of give, like, rant warnings, mainly because I want people to become consciously aware of when they are ranting, because I think it can be a way of, like, pushing this anger and hostility out in a way that other people might pick it up. And like, other people might not be as personally vulnerable to experiencing these debilitating levels of anger as I am. Like, it's just not a pleasant thing when I'm sitting here thinking these really negative things about other people. And yeah, so that's, that's how I feel about rants. It's something that like, I can be really uncomfortable when other people rant, I ideally wish people wouldn't do it, or would give me a warning that they're going to do it, or would... I really wish people would ask my consent, and then I'd probably say no, but if I said yes, I'd at least know that they are ranting, so that they're like, hey, can I rant about this for a second? Then I'm like, oh, okay, I'm not going to take what they're saying seriously. It's very different from the person easing into it. I don't know if this makes sense. Does this resonate with your own experience? I'd like to hear from you. Yeah, bye-bye.